It begins with two Scotsmen who would never meet. Both businessmen, both politicians, both with a vision of where the world was going and how it could be. James Wilson helps to set up the Chartered Bank of India, Australia and China under a royal charter from Queen Victoria herself. It's 1853. Branches in Mumbai, Calcutta, Shanghai, Hong Kong and Singapore follow. Elsewhere, John Patterson leads a consortium of Cape Colony businessmen to form the Standard Bank of British South Africa. It's 1862. Within a year, operations officially commence in Port Elizabeth. Later, they will expand across Africa. Two banks with a shared passion and exceptional talent for emerging and dynamic markets. Then came the wars. By the end of World War II, Chartered Bank has lost two-thirds of its branches, but it recovers and prospers again in the post-war world. By 1953, Standard Bank has offices across Southern, Central and Eastern Africa, expanding into Western Africa a decade later, while Chartered Bank goes from strength to strength in Hong Kong and Singapore. It's in 1969 when these two banks and their two histories merge to form one bank. Though Standard Bank in South Africa would later go its own way, the foundations are laid for a global bank with a unique footprint across diverse and dynamic markets.